Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary General, distinguished delegates, as President of Mongolia, it is my great pleasure to participate in the Transforming Education Summit organized under the auspices of the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres and present the current reforms in education in Mongolia. The Ministry of Education and Science of Mongolia, in collaboration with the United Nations Resident Coordinator Office, the UNICEF and the UNESCO, has successfully organized a national deliberation forum on transforming education, ensuring multi-stakeholder participation and digital transformation. All the relevant parties from school children, youth, teachers, researchers, civil society, the private sector, entrepreneurs, to media as well as the government representatives have gathered together and engaged in rounds of important discussions to deliberate pressing issues such as educational backwardness as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and lost opportunities in addition to reimagining and defining the future vision for education. The Constitution of Mongolia stipulates that secondary education shall be free of charge for everyone. Thus, even though the enrollment rate in schools throughout the country is relatively high within the region, there is still a room for improvement in terms of providing every child with an equal opportunity for better access to a quality education. In order to provide every child with an equal opportunity for quality, free and accessible education, we are gradually taking measures such as providing an open and integrated database, developing and distributing digital learning platforms and providing smart equipments for marginalized and vulnerable groups in need including the children of herder families, in addition to increasing internet speed and accessibility throughout the country. Mr. Chairman, our goal is to move forward with a new strategy, a new approach, a new method, form of governance, which will enable us to build an educational structure that incorporates technological progress and provides equal opportunities for every student to gain the necessary knowledge and skills that enables them to be better equipped for their future endeavors. The core foundation for the future development in education lays within the strong cooperation between the public and private sectors. All of the public decisions in the education sector should be aimed foremost at ensuring the well-being of children and youth and building upon a results-based management as well as implementing an evidence-based policy planning that is inclusive for all of relevant stakeholders and parties. It is therefore imperative for us all to share and exchange best practices and expertise in addition to discussing and implementing new concepts, methods and solutions together. Mongolia appreciates the policy recommendations and best practices discussed and shared during the summit, which will be taken into consideration for our national education development policy planning as efforts as well. In conclusion, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres for convening this high-level summit for the benefit of every child's education, who are indeed the future of our humanity. I wish everyone a very successful and fruitful meeting. I thank you.